hey what's up guys welcome back to code with clinton so this is part two of the photo gallery website with django so in this particular video we are going to start we are going to start working on views and urls so in part one we I, I showed you how to create a virtual environment in part one so now we are going to continue from there so in part one we made a django project and it was called django tutorial so in this video i'm going to make a new django project called photo so now i'm going to go down to my terminal so new terminal so now after we've done this now just come on you see this power shell click on this downward arrow so open the command prompt so now what we are going to do now is that we are going to first of all activate our virtual environment and i call this newbies in the first video so you're going to be work on so activate it you're going to run this command work on newbies which is the name of the virtual environment work on newbies so it has been activated so now i'm going to go down to my document directory so i'm going to say, say cd to documents and after i've done this now i'm going to create a django project in the document directory so we are going to run this command django admin starts django admin starts project and we're going to call this project photo we're going to simply say photo you can stand so enter so, okay now it's just been so now after we've done this now i'm going to go into the photo directory i'm going to go into it i'm going to say cd photo so enter so now we are into the photo directory now after we are inside of this directory we can create an app i'm going to show, we are going to create an app because a django project consists of apps because these apps are separate modules that helps to run a particular tax that helps to hold a particular the apps in apps are meant for a particular aspect of a project so now i'm going to create an app now i'm going to i'm going to see me see python manage.py start app so to recreate an app you're going to run the command python manage.py start app i can pick whatever name for your app so i'm going to call my own app photo app you understand photo app enter so it's going to take size it's going to take quite some time to run so after this right after we are going to run the server after this get executed we are going to run the server now so i'm going to simply say python manage.py run server enter so we hope, we hope so we hope everything works correctly so you can see everything is working fine so i'm going to just open this click on this url here so old control and click on it so this shows that we are successfully created a django project you understand this landing page you see here shows that we've successfully created our django project so now after we've done that now so go down to your vs code so uh, everything works fine so i'm going to open the folder we created we, could, we created a django project called photo in the documents directory so i'm going to go down to the file you know simply click on open folder so the folder is in the document directory so i'm going to go down to my document directory and look for the folder called photo so this is the folder photo now so click okay, i'm going to select the folder and open the folder in a stand so it's coming up okay the folder is now open these are django projects called photo in a stand so instead of the Django, instead of the django project we have some files called you can see we have the settings.py file this file is super important we also have the urls.py file in django projects so and we also we also created an app called photo app you can see this app here you, you see everything works fine there so we have the views of spy we have the models of spy file so now as time goes on you're going to understand what this all these apps do you're going to you're going to, you're going to know more about the components of this app as time goes on, in, as time goes on, you understand so now after we've done this now we're going to open our django project called photo open the settings of pi fi so you're going to open the settings of pi fi this is settings of pi fi yes that's now we, we we have an app called photo app so we are going to make sure this app is registered with the settings of pi fi this photo app is this is an app you understand so i'm going to go down to the, in the settings of pi fi we're going to, we have a session called installed apps so you're going to add this photo app among the installed app you understand so now just come down here and just simply run photo photo app perfect so this as this so now django knows about the our app called photo app so after we after you've added it here now django now knows about the app we created so now after you do this make sure you save ctrl x understand so we've done this now so 
I'm going to close down so close down the Django project and open the app called Photo App. So we want to work on the views and the URL. You can see instead of the Photo App, we have a file called Views.py. Open those file. So here's the file now. So this file helps to like get data from the database and return a template. And this, and on that template. The data we have in our database is being rendered on the template. You understand? So I'm going to show you how this views.py file works now. So our views.py file, as I said before, it helps to render a template and passes data to the template. You understand? So now this is how it works now. So I'm going to show you how to create a simple views.py function. You understand? Our views.py simply helps to hold function. You understand? That gets mapped to a URL. I just hope you understand what I'm saying. So now this is how, this is how it works. Now I'm going to create a simple function called home. I'm going to simply say dev home. This, this is going to be for our home page. So dev home. So now it's going to have a request argument. So I'm going to simply say request. And now we can simply return. So now we are going to ret so now we need to so we are going to say return render. But for now we don't have a template so you know we're not, not going to use this render this render keyword we have on top so now because we don't have a template yet so i'm going to simply do i'm going to simply use http response i'm going to simply say from django dot http i'm going to import http response http response understand so that's what we have there so after i've done that now so you can simply do return HTTP response and I'm going to simply pass in a string so now I'm going to simply, I'm going to simply return a string so I'm going to simply say this is the home page this is the home page you understand so Normally we should normally we return a we return a template, but for now we don't have a template created. So we are gonna just simply return an HTTP response. So after we've done this right now, this is this, this has been created, right? So now before this can work, we need to have we need to have this view function mapped to a URL. So now we're gonna create a URL.py file inside of the photo app, you understand? So let's do that right away. So we're gonna simply create a new file called URLs.py urls.py so it has been created now so now in this particular file now i'm going to make sure i'm going to do some imports i'm going to simply say from django from django.urls i'm going to import paths understand and after that we're also going to import this view this view module we have here you understand since this URLs and view are in the same directory. We are going to simply import like we are going to simply say from dot from dot import views. The dots refers to the photo app directory because they are because of the because because of the views and URLs are in the same directory. These dots actually represent the directory they are coming from. Understand? So I'm going to say from dot import views. So after we've done that, now we're going to create a variable called URL patterns. This is Django convention it will be called URL patterns. So now we're going to use this part we imported. Let me say part, and this part now is going to hold. So the part now for its first argument, uh, the first argument is going to be an empty string, empty string now. So after we've done that, it's going to be an empty string. So we are going to now refer to the view function we created. In the start, we've already imported the views at by. So now I'm going to come down and point onto this function here. So I'm going to simply do views views dot home. And after we've done this, now we're going to put a name a name variable that is going to a name variable. We're going to simply put home. I'm going to explain what this name variable does later. So I'm going to simply put home. So after we've done all this, now we need to make sure that this URLs as part that belongs to the app is being registered in the Django project. Understand? So now we have our Django project now. Open the if you if you if you, if you inside a Django project we have another URLs as part file. So open it, and now we are going to simply register the photo app URLs as part file inside of the Django project. So now we are going to we are going to do this right now. We're going to simply do parts 
after we've done that now we are going to simply do so never so, so whenever we visit an empty string we are going to point down to the photo app.urls of pi five so now we're going to simply do this after we've done that now we're going to simply do include include i'm going to simply say photo app.urls Understand so photo up to two URLs. So now that we're done, we are going to simply import this include now. Come down to the top here and import include. So now save your work, everything should work fine now. So you go down to the browser and refresh this page, everything works perfectly. As you watch closely now, you can see it says the server is down, so you need to make sure you run server again. So put the terminal. I'll open the terminal and let's run server once more. It's taking quite. So, I'm going to create a new terminal. So, new terminal. So, I'm going to remove this debug console. So, come down here, click on command prompt. And after you've done that, make sure you activate your virtual environment. Work on newbies. Newbies. And after we've done this now, we are going to simply run server python manage.py. Python manage.py. Run server. So now everything should work. Everything should work why now. So the server is kind of loading. So the server is up and running now. So go down to the browser now, refresh the page once more. Perfect. And see, we see we have this stuff, this message up here says this is the home page. You understand? It's kind of looking too small. Go down to the views at pi. Go down to the views at pi now. I think we need to add a h1. Let's put in a, a h1 in this um what was it called again? This is a an HTML tag so h1 I think it should be better this time around I can't remember if it should be inside or outside I must I did this kind of stuff so put it inside let's see go to X and paste in so save now hope everything works fine refresh the page perfect can see now see this is the home page this is simply returning a res this is simply returning a response to the browser Normally we, we normally we usually use templates. You get scenarios. You are simply but now they are just simply using an HTTP response. Okay, so we have been able to create a view function. So I'm going to show you. We are going to create two more view functions. You understand? So you can so you can understand this thing better. So I'm going to go down to my view to my VS Code right now. You go down to the views of Five Five instead of the photo app. So now I'm going to get another function. For we are going to create another function called the about. This is going to be for the about page. So you just come down now. We are going to call this function about. You can call it whatever name you like. You understand? I'm going to call it about. So now it's going to have the requests argument. Request. Make sure you don't forget that. So now, now we are not. Now we are simply using. An, we, are, we are simply using HTTP response. In the future, we'll start using HTML templates. We'll start rendering templates out. But for now, we're using HTTP response. So now we're going to simply come down here and say return HTTP response. So now I'm going to simply come down here. I'll copy this stuff. Control C to save work, to save time. Control V. I'm going to put in here. So this is the about page. So now this is the about page. So once we've created a view function, we're going to make sure we create a URL for this particular function. So go down to the view. Go down to, so we're going to go down to the photo app URLs of Pi Five. So now we're going to come down here, put a comma, and we want to create another URL for the function. We want to create a we want to create a URL for this particular function. This one on top already has a URL mapping. So we want to create another. We want to create a new URL for this particular function now. So go down here and do parts. So now. Whenever a user go down to about, I want to make sure they get redirected to views dot about function. You understand? This views dot about is coming from the views dot pi five. That's why we call it about. You understand? So whenever a user goes down to slash about, they'll be pointed down to this views dot about function. So this name attributes. I'm going to jump simply put a name attribute there. This name output is not important now. In future, I'm going to show you the, the, the importance of this name attributes I'm passing. You can understand. So, I'm going to say put in about. First, for now, this name attribute is not important for now. So, now go down to the browser now, and whenever we go down to slash about, we'll be 
this stuff will be outputted to the browser I understand so now I'll go down the browser and come down here and do slash about enter you can see this is the about page so now we are so now I'm going to put one more view function now control C I'm going to bring this down here and paste here and paste here and let me put in contacts contacts hope you're understanding this stuff now come down here and put this to this contact page so put on to your put on to the URLs of Wi Fi you're gonna put in create a new you create a new URL mapping so control C I'm gonna bring this down here paste here change this to contacts contacts change this to contact views dot contacts so now come down the browser now refresh this page and go down to slash contacts move this contact enter you can see we already say this is contact page i want to show you something extra so if you go down to the django project urls at PyFi, which is this one here you can see whenever we visit an empty string we get pointed to this photo app urls in this time because if you watch here now from this slash there's an empty string there after the slash nothing appears other than the contacts i'm going to show what i'm talking about now for example i'm going to put come down to my photo to my django project urls at pi five so i'm going to simply put in here and say photo so now photo now so what this means is that before i can access this photo app urls at pi mappings i must make sure that this URL we have on top here has been indexed. It's been, it's been. What was it called? I must make sure that this stuff is been pref is been prefixed with photo. If I refresh the page now, it could, it's going to be an error. So refresh. You can see there's an error now. That's because now be before we can access this photo app URL pattern, we must make sure that we prefix the URL we have on the browser with photo. You understand before it was empty so now i'm going to show what i'm talking about right now i'm going to show you go down to the browser right now and put photo photo slash and press enter so currently we are seeing this error so go down to the browser go down to the vs code again what's the problem you see we need to add a false slash in front but if you don't add a false slash here you can also, you can just simply come down to the photo app URL at pi fi and simply add the false slash in front of this part understand but the best place to add it in the the best thing is to add it in add it over here just add the four slash here that's gonna be fine so add it here come down the browser now refresh this page oh what's the, what's the problem okay so you go down go down to your vs code and make sure you save your work on this ui as pi file and make sure you save your work over here save go down the browser again and refresh it, everything should work fine Oh, what's the problem? We save your work and save over here. So glance the browser, refresh this page. Okay, put in photo. Now say prefix with photo slash and enter. Perfect. You can see we are on the contact page. If I come down here, remove the contact. You can see we are on the home page because you watch closely the home page as an empty string. You understand? So you can see we have photo slash nothing. So I go down to about, we go down to the about page. You can see on the about page, everything works fine. So that's it for the views and URLs of pi fi So as we keep on building the project, as we keep on building the photo gallery website, you're going to learn more, on, you're, you're going to master this stuff. You, it's, you, you, you're going to master it as you keep on building the stand. So that's it, that's it for this video. So next video, I'm going to talk on templates. So we'll see you in the next video.